Hi oh, YouTube, Stick here, how you doing? Um, being that I've been asked quite a bit recently uh, about this topic, I thought I'd do a little video on it. And it is what headphones I recommend. <laughs> it's very exciting. Uh, but it seems to be quite popular. Um, I imagine a lot of you guys learn to mix and you've got your bedroom studios and you've got your your pod floor units or whatever and you, you know, decent headphones can make the world of difference. Uh, whatever you do, don't go with the the stock iPhone or iPod little white earbuds, they are terrible. And all you end up doing is turning up so loud that you end up distorting it and then distorted sound in your ear is a lot worse for it than just good clean volume. Don't, you know, don't use crap headphones, trust me. Um, so anyway, these are the ones I use here at Maplewood. They're the AKG 271 Mark IIs. Um, they've got quite a large driver unit in them. Um, they have a little switch here, so when you put them over your head, as so demonstrated, perhaps I should go and work on the air airplanes or something. Um, this little switch here engages, and that's that sort of uh, is like a cutout. So when it's when it's engaged, uh, you can hear music. When it drops down, it cuts out. Can be useful. Can be a bit annoying. Uh, it depends. Quite often, I have to sort of. I've got people in the other room, and I'm on the talk back mic and I'm telling their bandmates, pull the headphones down, pull the headphones down. You know, and they're just like, oh, we are not working, oh, you know. Um, so it can be a little bit annoying in that aspect. Uh, they come with these sort of leatherette ear cups, or you get like a suede kind of finished one, which uh, you might prefer. Personally, I use these because I use them when I'm drumming, I'll get hot and sweaty and nice and easy to clean. Um, but the most important thing, I think, really, for any pair of headphones that you're going to get a good life out of, is the um, cable and these have a mini XLR on the side which means of course you can buy spare cables um, they ship with two you get the, the box standard straight cable and you get a Brian May super duper curler um, I'm not a fan of the Brian May curler uh, I know Chappers likes a Brian May curler himself he's asked me to make him one which I refuse so um, I use a straight cable but yeah really good pair of headphones they're around the hundred pound mark, so you might think they're not cheap, but in the world of headphones, they're not super expensive, and I think for the quality that you get back out of them, and the life that you're gonna get back out of them, um, it will be a, a good investment that's not gonna, you know, you won't be, put it this way, if you get a pair of these and you start listening to them, you'll be chucking all your other cheap crappy headphones out before you know it, or you're refusing to listen to them. Especially if you're trying to learn how to mix music and get a, a feel for getting guitar tones sitting right in tracks and all that kind of stuff, this sort of thing is going to be critical for you. Um, personally, I find them a little bit toppy, but as with anything new, it's like my Vent Opal, you know, they're like £2,500 speakers, uh, but you still have to get to learn learn them and learn how they work in your room. You're not instantly, they're not gonna make you a masterful mixer. You've got to learn the characteristics of them, same way you've got to learn the characteristics of these. So I know when I mix on these, or they're, they can be a little bit toppy. Um, but as with anything when you're mixing, you know, check it on one source, check it on another, go in your car, go in your bedroom, go on your iPod, whatever. Um, and we always remember when you bounce down to an MP3, you're gonna lose quite a lot of the top end, so, Try all different things. Test, test, test. Um, you know, don't just do a mix and go. That's it. Sounds good on them. But anyway, they're the headphones I would use. Um, I'll chuck a link below. I say they're available from Andertons. They're about a hundred pounds. Um, yeah, click on that link. You'll go straight to them. Click purchase. You'll be happy ever after. Um, especially if you've got like a, a reasonable interface, like any of the Line Six units, M Audio. Um, Apogee especially, um, or the RME, anything with a good headphone preamp in it, excellent results. They will work with your iPod, iPods and your Blackberries and your iPhones, uh, but obviously being a larger driver, it will take a little bit more to drive them, and um, I think they work okay, but you get the best out of them with a good a good preamplifier, so uh, anything with a good bit of headroom. Anyway, that would be my headphone recommendation, so if you go for it, which way up are they? Oh, can't work it out. That'll do. Uh, so let me know if you get a pair and what you think. Um, don't forget to subscribe and you can follow me at Mr. Stick Monkey on Twitter and the studio page 
uh, on Facebook is just uh, Facebook forward slash Maplewood Studio. So it'd be good to see uh, see a few faces join there as well. And I'm always doing silly things or trying to be entertaining in some way. So anyway, headphones. Let me know if you get them. Let me know if you think of them. Stick out. <laughs>